back to my channel. In this video, I am bringing you guys a prom slash formal event makeup tutorial and this is the look I created for you guys. Last year I did a more silver glam so this year I thought I would do a bit more of a golden glam to change it up a little bit so yeah I really hope you guys like this look and it helps you out and if you do like it please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe it down below if you are new to my channel and also be sure to press the little bell button so you can get notified for whenever I upload a video and be sure to check me out on my other social medias I'll have it somewhere on the screen and down in the description box down below. So yeah, with all that being said, let's just jump straight into the tutorial. Okay, so I just prepped one of my eyes with the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 0.5. I just patted that primer on to my lids and now we're gonna start off with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna do one eyeshadow shade on this eye and then I'll repeat the process onto the other eye. The first shade I'll be going in with is Cypress Umber. I freaking love this shade. It's just a dark brown and I'm gonna be packing it into my outer corner and into my crease. Now I'm just gonna get a fairly clean brush just to buff out the edges to make sure it blends in seamlessly with the next shade and now I'm just going to repeat that process onto the other eye. Now that that's done I'm going to be going in with the shade Sienna with my Morphe M441 brush and I'm just going to blend that into my crease. And now for my transition shade, I'm going in with the shade Burnt Orange with my Sigma E38 brush. And I'm just going to be blending out the Sienna shade. Now going back in with a tiny bit of Cypress Umber. And I'm just going to blend it out with my crease brush and no additional shadow. Now going in with my transition shade brush to further blend it out. I'm going back in with a tiny bit of sienna and into my crease. Now repeating that same process onto the other eye. Now I'm just going to cut my crease and I'm only going to do a half cut crease and I've done this a bunch of times on my channel so I'm not going to go too in depth with this. So I'm just going in with my P. Louise Face Primer in the shade Rumor 0.5 again and just my Morphe M224 brush to cut slightly above my crease because I do have wooded eyes. Now I'm just going to grab a cotton tip and some of my simple micellar cleansing water and I'll just be removing all the base and shadow here under my cut crease to make sure it's nice and clean for the lid shade and to make sure it will stand out as much as possible. Now I'm just going to reapply the base onto my lids and then just set it with the shade Tempera here in the Soft Glam palette. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned before but I'm using the Anastasia Better Heels Soft Glam eyeshadow palette. Wow, I don't think I even mentioned that. I am so sorry. And I'm just going to do one eye at a time. I'm just going to tap on the edge here to blend out the harshness. Now I'm just going to real quick spray this Morphe M124 brush with a bit of my uh, Anastasia Dewy Set Spray. Just so when I apply the shimmer shade, it's going to be super pigmented and metallic. And now I'm just going to be going in with the shade Fairy and just applying that to my lids. Now I'm going back in with my first brush, the M456 from Morphe, and going back in to the deep shade Cypress Umber. I'm just going to pack that onto the outer corners of my eyes to blend in with the shimmer shade. Now I'm just going to be going in with the brush from the Soft Glam palette and picking up this more dense shorter side. I'm going to be picking up the crease shade Sienna, and I'm just going to be blending it in between the Cypress Umber and the shimmer shade on the lids. Now I'm going in with this 
super fine brush from Morphe. It is the M250-1 brush and I'll be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Creme Waterproof color, I think it's called. Yes, and it's in the shade Jet. It's just black gel kind of thing and I'm going to be doing a liner, but I'm just going to be doing it like along the shape of the half cut crease if that makes sense so i pretty much want to blend it into black shadow on the outer corners of my eyes you'll kind of see what i'm doing as i go And now I'm just going in with this Morphe E35 brush and I'm going to go in with the black shade from the palette called Noir. And I'm just going to kind of like pack it here on the edge. And I'm just going to switch to this Morphe M149 brush and I'm going to kind of like try and blend it into my outer crease. I'm picking up some of the black shade. I'm going back in with my M456 brush to blend it out. Now I'm just going to go in with a makeup wipe and I'm just going to clean up the edges of my eyes and underneath my eyes as well. And now we are going to move on to the face makeup. So now I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And not only is this my favourite primer, but it's great for photos and for full glam looks. And for full glam looks, I always go for a beat face and full coverage foundation. So for that, I'm going in with my Jouer uh, Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. And this foundation is so bomb. I have the shade Pearl and I'm just going to apply this all over my face using my black damp beauty blender. And with this foundation, they ain't lying when they say a little bit goes a long way. Okay, so I feel like I might have gone a little bit too heavy with the foundation because my skin is looking a little bit cakey and usually it doesn't look like this when I use this foundation. So um, yeah, just make sure you don't go in with too much otherwise it might look a bit cakey because it is such a full coverage foundation. But now I'm going in with my concealer and I'm just using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Beige. And I'm just going to blend it out. Now I've just turned the Beauty Blender the other way with the side I applied the foundation. And I'm just going to pat here so the concealer and foundation blend more seamlessly. Now I know a lot of people aren't a huge fan of baking. But if you really want like, bright under eyes and to brighten certain areas of your face, baking is definitely the way to go with a brightening powder. So I'm just going in with a powder that I have been loving lately. You guys know I love the RCMA powder. But I feel like I've been using that for like, it's literally been like two years I've been using that powder. So I feel like I should switch it up. And lately I've been using this um, Fenty Beauty uh, Pre Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder and this is in the shade Lavender. This suits my face skin tone perfectly. She's got a few different shades to suit all types of skin tones and I'm just going to pick up some of the powder with my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to bake underneath my eyes and on my nose as well to help chisel it out for the contour. And just as that's baking, I'm going to set the rest of my face. And this is probably my favorite face setting, uh, setting powder. I was about to say spray. Um, and it is the Patrick Star by MAC Patrick's Powder. And this is honestly so bomb, you guys. They seriously need to make this a permanent product because I know what I'm going to do once I run out of this. I'm just going in with a big powder brush. And now I'm just going to wipe away all that powder. This is just a Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush. And I'm going to contour, so I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Light to Medium Powder Contour Kit and picking up this middle shade here called Fawn. You guys already know I always use this. And I'm going in with the Morphe M139 brush just to contour my nose first. And I'm going in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH05 brush to contour the rest of my face. 
And now I'm just going in with my Kylie Cosmetics bronzer in the shade Toasty. I'm just going back in with my tapered brush to blend out the nose contour and blending out the rest of the bronzer and contour with my big fluffy brush. Now I'm just going to go in with my Morphe M501 brush and just spray it with my Anastasia Dewy Set Setting Spray. And for highlight today I'm going to be going in with my Kylie Cosmetics Ultra Glow in the shade Santorini. And this is such a blinding highlight, I freaking love it. You always want your highlight to be blinding for special occasions. I'm just patting the brush on the back of my hand so it's not too wet so it doesn't make your highlight streaky. Guys, look at that highlight. Oh my god, freaking amazing. And I always bring it along on my forehead as well, just to make my face all glowy. Like, look at that glow on the forehead. Just a nice, subtle little glow. And on the chin as well. And then for my nose and cupid spray, I'm just using my ring finger. Now, with whatever of the Fenty Beauty powder is left on my sponge, I'm just going to clean up underneath my contour to chisel out my jawbone. And now for blush, I'm going in with the Anastasia Peachy Love Blush Trio and picking up this shade here on the end called Nectarine. I'm going back in with my powder brush to just blend everything out. Alright, now let's finish off with the eyes. Okay, now I'm going back in to the Soft Glam palette and I'm picking up the shade Cypress Umber and just stamping that along my lower lash line. And I'm going in with the brush that comes in the palette again and I'm just going to be picking up the shade Sienna and just smoking out my lower lash line. And I'm going in with this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill JH38 brush. I'm just going to be going in with the transition shade which was burnt orange and I'm just going to further smoke out my lower lash line. And I'm going in with my black Kylie Cosmetics Kylie Liner and I'm just going to apply this into my waterline. And I'm just going to go in with this little detail brush and spray it with my Dewy Set spray and then I'm just going to go in with my Kylie Cosmetics highlight that I used before just to apply to the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bones and now just with my Sigma brush I'm just going to blend out of the harsh brow bone highlight so we don't have any harsh lines and now I'm just going to curl my lashes and just going in with my Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara to apply to my top lashes I don't know what went on there. My eye just started watering. It feels like there's something in my eye, but there isn't. Oh, I literally thought my makeup was going to get ruined there. Now quickly, before I apply my falsies, I'm just going to do my hair and yeah, I will be right back. So just quickly now off camera, I'm going to apply my falsies and I'm just going to be going in with the Lily Lashes in the style Come Out. And I like these because they get thicker towards the outer corner. So really help deepen up the outer corner that we've already got going on and just be a bit more dramatic. Now I'm just going to go in with my mascara and apply it to my lower lashes. And now it's time for the lips and my hair's looking a bit crazy right now but I'll fix it in a little bit. Usually for like formal events when I've got a neutral eye going on I usually go for a red lip. I know I just love wearing red lips but I do want to switch it up for this look. And I was going to do a nude glossy lip, but I think I'm going to go in with one of the new Kylie lip kits. This is in the shade Mind Your Business. It's a velvet lip kit and it's kind of like a rosy, deep, pink, mauve I think rosy is the closest I can describe this color to be. Um, kind of like a warm, nude, rosy shade. Yeah, I think I'm going to go in with this. Of course, it just depends on what color dress or outfit you're wearing. Usually if I'm wearing like black or white, I'll go in like with a red lip as I said. But if I'm going to be wearing like a green, navy or red or whatever, I'll usually go in with a nude lip just so it doesn't clash with the lips, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to go in with the liner first. 
Mm. I'm not sure if this lip color matches this look. You know what, I'm actually going to take this lip off because it's not really matching. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and now I'm going to go in with my Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K lip liner and just align my lips. And I'm just going in with my Anastasia lipstick in the shade Honey. And now just to lock everything in place, I'm just going to go in with my Anastasia Dewy Set Setting Spray and just set my face. So that is it for this tutorial and I really hope that it helped you guys out. Let me know when your prom is and make sure you tweet me or tag me in Insta photos of your prom looks because I would love to see. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, if you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. And be sure to also let me know in the comments down below any other videos you'd like to see from me next. And yeah, thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you in my next one.